So here is the banner in progress. Um, it's not hanging at its full height, but um, it's red fabric that was a tablecloth um, with the template transferred on it. And the theme is partly, it's twofold. One is Joseph Strauss, the chief engineer of the Golden Gate Bridge, who was a personality in and of himself and actually quite difficult character and more like the grandstand puppet master of the whole project and not really the, there were several designers and all of that. Um, so um, at the top there are strings of strings hanging down that represent the cables. It's actually um, cassette tape. And so it's sort of representing the cables. And then it's, they are going to be incorporated into the design. They're actually going to be in the hands of Joseph Strauss, who is ensconced in his Knob Hill apartment window and watching the construction of the bridge through a telescope. Um, those, I think these spaces are probably going to be like sky blue and one will be probably with a sky blue mesh. Um, haven't decided which yet, but I'm realize that I need to install the whole thing in place because it won't be able to be transported once I actually attach the strings onto it. And um, there are going to be figures and the sort of other underlying concept of this banner is the labor and it has to do with people dying and also a little bit with people um, committing suicide on the bridge, but really sort of focusing on the deaths. There was one one person got killed during the construction of the bridge, and then 10 got killed in another separate accident. And this is um, a Doré Bible illustration. And I have been drawing some figures that are based on this which is some disaster scene um, with people falling in water. And so there's that figure which I rendered and then traced and then, um, then drew it as a person of that time period who actually is supposed to be Joseph Strauss because though he was a difficult jerk, I think he also cared a lot. And he also was, he initiated that the workers wear these leather hard hats. So I guess it's kind of like the first hard hats. So there will be these cutout figures attached, like he might be um, up, up there at the, the top. Um, and then other figures will be at the bottom. And they kind of like falling into the water. But since that might be too disturbing, what I'm going to do is mount them with brads so that for the arts, for the exhibit, for certain exhibiting spaces, if it's too morbid to have them falling, they'll be upright. But the way I actually intend it is for them to be upside down and falling. But they can be either way. And so I will step back. And um, I also have drawn a lot of figures of ice skaters because they're in interesting poses. So to get an idea, um, 
the figures can be like that, falling, or if they're upright, they can look like maybe they're climbing the bridge, so it can have a more positive um, aspect. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>